Welcome to Vegan Finds, where we're going to turn this into to this, the Rockless Burger Burgerless Burger. That's tonight's dinner in Regional Week, where we take a <coughs> Pittsburgh favorite of taking ground beef and ground sausage, mixing it together, obviously all vegan. There's no animal products in this. And we're going to have a side of onion rings, side of fried pickles. So, stick around, see how this is all put together. Okay, so tonight's dinner is the Rothless Burger, Burgerless Burger. So, obviously, if, if you follow football, you know who Ben Rothless Burger is. And uh, this is a burger named after him. It's obviously regional to the Pittsburgh area. My wife's family originated from that part of the country. And uh, she's got a close affini affinity for the um, Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is a, basically we're taking some meatless farms, ground beefless beef, and they're sausageless sausage patties and we're going to mix these together to make one uniform um, burger meat and you know how much I love doing this but somebody's got to do it it might as well be me so we're just going to mix this together this is going to form the base of our burger and we are going to see how this comes out. We're going to add some spices to this as well. So I, I've incorporated the two meats together and now I'm just going to turn these into patties. We want to make about six patties here. So I'm going to start by kind of just Don't worry, I will flatten these out. I just want to get oh. six even patties. You don't need to make six. Um, you can make four really large ones. It's all up to you. But we're just trying to get these cooked so they cook together evenly. Definitely, this one needs a little bit more. This one needs a little bit more. And there we go. So, we got our six ready to be fully formed. And basically, I want to get these kind of flat because I don't want them to cook too. I want them to cook quickly. That's that's the word I was looking for. Cook quickly. Okay. So our patties are ready to go. Now on to our next item. So we went to the Amish farmers market today and we got these mega huge onions. We were looking for some big onions and. Recently, they've been all really small, so we jumped at the chance when we saw these big boys here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some onion rings. So the first thing that you want to do is be able to slice these suckers into rings. I'm just trying to get off that outer layer, that troublesome parts. And we're going to slice them this way into rings. Ooh, this is one potent onion. It's making me cry. Oh my God. I'm crying, people. I am crying like you can't believe. <sighs> Somebody can figure out a way to stop that. I would be, I'm all for it. I'm on board. Um, so we got some onion rings here ready. 
Uh, we're gonna make the batter, show you how it's done, and we're gonna fry them up, uh, and then we're gonna finish off our burgers for you. So stick around, stay tuned, and be ready. Okay, so once again, we are using the Namaste Egg Replacer. So I have uh, four teaspoons in there. I'm adding four tablespoons of water to this. Just going to stir that up. I've got my oil heating. I'm not going to actually show you um, the frying part of the onion rings, just the breading part. And we're once again making buttermilk as our dredge. And in this dish right here, I have uh, Kikoman gluten free um, vegan bread. Um, panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of uh, cornmeal to give it a little bit of an extra regional crunch to it. So I'm going to add our um, buttermilk to this. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to editor's note, um, need to add a little flour to the to this so I'm gonna whisk this up into a light batter I don't know what I was thinking because you need to have something that the breadcrumbs will stick to You want your batter like a th thin pancake batter. I'm just gonna coat, tap, drop, flip, and then drop in some hot oil, and you're good to go on the. So here. 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 Okay, here. I have a surprise for my daughter. My daughter likes fried pickles. But she also likes Old Bay. So I got her Old Bay pickles that we're going to fry for my daughter. Isn't she lucky? Isn't she lucky? So to our batter, we are going to be adding a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning to double down on our Old Bay, Old Bay pickle experience. For it. There we go. I'm just going to mix that in. And so into the batter is going to go Old Bay pickles, into Old Bay batter, into some breadcrumbs. Okay, we're getting ready to cook our Rothless Burger Burgerless Burgers. <laughs> the pan is, is heated up, it's nice and hot. And I'll have to say, I'm super impressed with my wife who managed to figure out how to make onion rings. Mine was such an epic fail that um, you're not going to see the epic fail. That's how, that's how epic the failure was. So I'm going to get a little oil in this pan to get them going. Um, and just so you know what we're using, we're using follow your, follow your heart provolone, <laughs> follow your heart provolone slices. That's going to go on the bottom bun with our uh, homemade ranch dressing. And we're using Daiye cheddar slices. That's going to go on top cover it to help the cheese melt but again since these are vegan burgers they don't really have to be cooked the way you would cook beef 
or any other animal based product they have to be cooked through just not to a um, 165 degree temperature which is what they recommend for beef okay our burgers are almost uh, ready I've got the dome lid to help uh, melt the cheese getting there so here we have the provolone on the bottom of the patty I'm going to add the ranch dressing to that spread that all out Ooh, that looks good So you can see our burgers, the cheese is melted nicely. We're turning off our burner. We're now going to... So I'm going to finish assemble. I'm going to show you how to assemble these, but I'm going to... We'll do it right in a... Okay. So now we're going to take our patty. We're going to put that on top of our ranch. All right. Then we're going to take... Our bacon, I'm gonna put that on top of there, like so. I gotta get the top of my bun, and on the top of the bun is gonna go some barbecue sauce. And then, there you have it. Well, there you have it. The Rothenburger, Rothelsluss Burger, Burger, Burger? Yeah, Roth we're going with that. <laughs> the Roth, the Rothless Burger, Burgerless Burger. Yes, we're going with that. With onion rings and our homemade dill, uh, no, Old, Old Bay Bear. pickles. So, if you like recipes like this, please click subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video. Follow us on Instagram at Vegan Finds. And on Twitter at Vegan Vine. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. And we will see you next time.